Hello everyone. Today's video is how to disassemble and reassemble the slide of the CZ75 SP01. This should also apply to a number of other CZs. Okay, first you need to remove the slide. Remove the spring and the barrel. What you need to do is to remove that roll pin right here that retains the firing pin. So you need a block, you need a 1 8 punch and this one is a bit different than regular punch because it's got a rounded end which go inside the uh, roll pin and will avoid any damages. Uh, before I own those I use some flat punches, they work fine but it is always better to have the right tool for the job. So, punches, hammer, and go out. Okay. The pin fell out. And once I remove the punch, the firing pin is going to want to come out. So orient the the bottom of the slide towards something secure, like the desk. There we go. And the safety plunger here is still retaining some of the firing pin, but not entirely. So you release the plunger and the plunger comes out. So we have, well, let's start with the firing pin. We have the safety plunger with its spring. And inside, we also have the firing pin spring. There we go. Okay, for those, we are going to remove that pin here, which will release the extractor and the extractor spring. And you need a smaller punch, if I can locate it. Now, now you can get a regular flat punch. And this one is, uh, a 1 16th. You will need to extract it from the top of the gun, not from the inside. There you go. And there is a spring here. There is not too much pressure, but always when you have a spring, put a finger on uh, the spring. It beats having to look all around the room for a spring. And I'm going to pull the punch. And here is the extractor. And here is the extractor spring. All right, the last few things that are left are the rear sight, which I'm not going to do. What I'm doing today is a full disassembly, but for cleaning, for inspection, the sights, you put them in once and you never touch them unless you want to replace them. Now here you have a pin that will release the front sight and the bushing here. If you don't intend to replace the bushing, to remove the bushing for inspection, do not remove that, that pin. And if you remove that pin to replace the front sight, make sure you put this pin with a bit of Loctite in the hole or the bushing through the recoil will come out and you might lose it. All right, it is time now to reassemble everything. In here, you have a small recess. I'm going to zoom in now for reinstallation. Okay, right here you have a recess. That's where the ejector spring is going to sit. Sometimes that spring goes better one way than the other. So you have to choose your side. And then the ejector. Oh, ejector, it goes this way. And that's when you need three hands. You need one hand to push one hand to slide back and another hand to hammer things down. Well, you don't have three hands. So your third hand today will be the barrel of your gun with the recoil spring installed. There we go. Everything is secured. Now the barrel will stop the extractor for going forward. What you want to do now, we're going to prep that pin a little bit. I should have done it before. Oh, well, I 
it goes in happily. All right, so all you are doing now is pushing on the extractor and hammering that pin without a punch because you don't have another hand to hold the punch. Be very gentle. Make sure you push the extractor and the pin will find the hole of the extractor. There we go. So it is probably halfway in. Now I'm going to use the punch. And I don't use my little punch I used before. I don't want it to slip over that little pin, but something a little bit bigger that will, that will really grab that pin until it reaches bottom. There we go. Now it is time to reinstall the firing pin system. We'll start with the firing pin spring. Just slide it in and you make sure you see, we can see it here, it has to go way past that. There you go. The plunger, the safety plunger, which is a two part. You have the spring and the plunger with a flat part. So you're gonna install the spring here and keep that flat area facing up. Move the slide this way and insert the plunger that way by making sure the flat area stays into position. Now you need a, some kind of a, a punch to push the safety device all the way and you will be able to insert the uh, firing pin. Firing pin has notches, you want them to face the top of the gun. So this way. All right. Let's do this again. If the pin cannot go in, the plunger has turned and the firing pin is hitting the plunger. You push a safety plunger in, you insert the firing pin. There we go. There we go. Push it in and release the firing pin a little bit and the plunger should come out. There we go. We are in. There. I am going to start that roll pin, that uh, firing pin roll pin. By the way, this is an aftermarket pin. I suggest uh, after you uh, fire your first 500 rounds on this handgun to take it apart and remove the OEM uh, roll pin. This one has a very light mark, as you can see, uh, but that's after about 1500 rounds. The OEM firing pin will be very well damaged after 500 rounds. Uh, one place to get a very good pin is a Cajun Gunworks, and another is Amazon. I will put the link below for both of them. Now, this one is not an exact fit, it is uh, a bit shorter and a little bit fatter but it works very well. For the first use, you might want to take some pliers and uh, force the end of the pin to just go in. And after that, uh, once you remove it and reinstall it, it will be uh, uh, like butter. Uh, a little trick we do for people who are used to uh, remove it and install it. You see that slice here onto the, uh, the roll pin. Uh, try to keep it at 12 o'clock, so uh, toward the top of the gun. If you end up having the firing pin facing the slice, uh, this is the weak point of the roll pin and it will damage the roll pin. So as a, a general rule, we keep it up. So right up here. Where is it? Yeah, right there. And I'm going to start it. There you go. Okay. You cannot hammer that pin down. Holding the hammer, holding the uh, the punch, and the firing pin needs to be pushed with three hands or four hands. So you use the gun, you rebuild your gun. Uh, Part, there you go. And you fire your gun. The hammer is going to hold the firing pin in position for you to hammer that pin down. And I need the right punch, there we go. Ah, I fell.
felt the firing pin being hit. That is not good. All right, that's perfect. What happened is I felt the firing pin being hit by the roll pin. So I backed up the roll pin and what happened is during installation, the firing pin lost its way. Uh, I don't know if you can zoom on this. The, I told you to keep the flat part of the firing pin up and it went sideways. So that is not good. Let's try it again. There we go. Oh, you can feel when there is a resistance. And I am in. Beautiful. Now, just as a safety measure, to make sure that um, you done a good job, you are going to take the spring out, the barrel out, and you are going to inspect to see if the firing pin shows up here or not, depending on the status of the pin. So, I'm going to push the firing pin and see if it does not show up as it should. It should be retained by the, the block and is not going anywhere. Okay, now if I push the block here, I'm going to see now if the block release the firing pin and, and I can see the pin showing up so everything is working perfectly. All I have to do now is to reassemble the gun. And we are done. If you have any questions, put them below and I will gladly answer them. Well, until next time, see you guys.